and welcome back to the latest anime and manga news for the week ending March 1st, 2014. Beginning with news of the new fairy tale anime series, slated now for April 5th, the 13th issue of Kodansha's Weekly Shonen Magazine has announced that the new adaptation will premiere in Japan on April 5th, and it will be a new adaptation of Fairy Tale. The old one ended um, in March, last March, with a to be continued card. So apparently they're restarting, and like really restarting. Meanwhile, um, back over here on American shores, uh, Sentai Filmworks has announced they have licensed Short Piece, the uh, Katsuhiro Otomo uh, collection of short films, he of Akira fame. So we'll be getting a Blu-ray and DVD and digital release of that at some point soon as they say they're going to uh, screen it in select cities in north america starting march 3rd as well so get a chance to see that it compiles four short films together like some of other otomo's uh, uh, projects meanwhile sentai film works has announced a few other licenses including uh my you uh, arch enemy and hero which will debut on disc June 10th, which will not include an English dub. They're going sub-only with that particular one. Uh, they've also got The Hentai Prince and the Stony Cat and Leviathan the Last Defense also coming out dub-only. Uh, good news on The Wind Rises, the recent Hayao Miyazaki film. Uh, it has opened in wide release in North America this weekend. It's already earned about $300,000 uh, US in its 21 theaters during its limited release, so that's Good news. The Wall Street Journal is actually streaming a clip of the dub. That's pretty awesome. Wall Street Journal actually has done... I think they have some anime fans there. I, I've seen... I remember when the, the new Astro Boy series came out, and there was a like a half-page spread, uh, full color, for the, the new Astro Boy se series. Kind of interesting. Meanwhile, Disc Attack has announced that they have, have, has announced they have licensed the School Days TV anime series. Uh, as well as the uh, OVA School Days Magical Heart Kokoro Charm. Um, they will be released uh, June 24th, um, sub only as well, actually. So that's uh, coming out. Sentai Film Works. Um, see, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, same news uh, as before. Madhouse is talking about the new Ninja Scroll project. Yes, they're working on a new Ninja Scroll anime series. Kind of interesting here. Um, Yoshiaki Kawajiri, the original creator, has finished a script. Uh, he actually finished that back in May and delivered it and uh, worked through all of the, the kinks on that in, I believe it was December. Uh, I'm sorry, he completed storyboards in December and he's currently working on key animation. Um, however, they don't have any financial supporters yet. No one's stepped in to sponsor the thing. And um, um, Hiroyuki Okada, the CEO of Madhouse, explained this is probably because while it was huge in the U.S., it was not a big hit in Japan. So, we'll see where that goes. Um, the tentative title right now is Ninja Scroll Kocho. We'll see where that goes. So, interesting that they're moving forward on that, despite not having um, serious backers. But I'm sure they'll find somebody. Uh, Shinji Takamatsu, director of Gintama, Mobile Suit Gundam Wing, and Daily Lives of High School Boys, has been talking recently about uh, kind of censorship uh, relating to the Olympics. Uh, he mentioned that there were uh, a lot of Olymp Olympic-themed anime during the uh, sports boom of the 80s. But he said, we can't use the word Olympics anymore in anime, so we can't really make those shows anymore. Kind of a problem considering um, uh, you know, the, the possibility of anime in Japan, or uh, Olympics in Japan. Um, as he explained, uh, since the Olympics Committee has clamped down on use of the word, anime uh, productions would have to pay a lot of money for use of the word, and it's more than they can afford. So, unfortunately, we're probably not going to see the word Olympics in anime anytime soon. Uh, let's see here. Moving on. Uh, uh, so, here's an interesting one. Uh, Kenichi the Mighty's Disciple had a recent OVA, which they're going to now broadcast on television. April 9th, the Kenichi Mighty's Disciple OVA will air on Tokyo MX at 1 a.m. Typical kind of time. Uh, 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 yeah, time for, for shows. Um, this is a two episodes and a two episode release that was originally released on, um, I believe, a bundle, yeah, bundled with the manga. So now it's going to be on TV as well. So does that make it a TV series or an OVA? Not sure. Uh, the 3D Create Arts Awards were held January 28th in LA, California, um, put on by the International 3D and Advanced Imaging Society. 
And they recognized the Space Pirate Captain Harlock CGI film as the best international animated feature film of 2013. Cool. Now, I'd never heard of the 3D Create Arts Awards before, but it's nice that they threw that to Captain Harlock. Um, this was... Um, yeah, no, I'm, I'm sorry, they, they don't list what other films were in consideration for that, but good for them. See here, I'm moving on to um, some Hunter Hunter news. Sadly, the voice of Chairman Natero uh, passed away January 27th, and it's announced that Banjo Ginga will take over duties. He was Giren in Original Gundam, so you get to hear, I guess, the um, Sig Zeon speech in Hunter Hunter at some point. I don't know, probably not. <clears throat> Crunchyroll has announced they have uh, licensed some more One Piece content particularly the One Piece catalog episodes. Um, and starting from the beginning of that, they'll, they'll add about 20 to 30 new episodes every week. Um, they began streaming the anime series um, uh, last November, starting at episode 619. So they're basically going back and starting with, I, presumably, episode one and adding them in large batches. So we'll be able to get all of One Piece on Crunchyroll pretty soon, hopefully. Um, they've also um, added uh, uh, a few motion manga, um, and yet the town moves, as well as Two Shy Girls' romantic comedy will be available on Crunchyroll as well. Moving on to manga news, Kanachi USA has announced they will be publishing the Heroic Legend, Legend of Arslan manga, first volume coming out August 19th. This is the new series by, uh, by Hiromu Arakawa, creator of uh, Full Metal Alchemist. You may have heard of that. So we'll be getting the Arslan manga starting August 19th in North America. This is an adaptation of an ongoing light novel series. Of course, why wouldn't you do that? So there are 13 volumes of that. Um, and then there were, and actually there were two anime series based off of that. So this is now a manga based off of confusing. But what can you say? Speaking of Kodansha, um, they reported uh, an increase in revenue. Their revenue has increased uh, about 2% from the previous fiscal year. The first time that's happened in... 18 years. Yeah, kind of surprising. Um, they credit this uh, overall uh, increase to the popularity of Attack on Titan, as well as other works like uh, Kaizoku to Yabareta Otoko. I'm not sure what that is. Um, uh, also, they've made uh, $48 million, roughly, US off of digital publishing, which about doubles what they got last year. So that's hopefully shoring up some of those that revenue. So that's good news. Um, interestingly, they said um, one of the problems they've been having is um, dealing with um, uh, uh, shoujo manga um, because certain shoujo have been doing well. They've actually increased their print run of, sh of uh, uh, Aria, their shoujo manga, manga magazine, 500%. So apparently shoujo is building up a bit in Japan. So that's news for this week. Uh, that's uh, going to do it. And... That's it. Thanks for watching.